So today we're gonna to rebuild this Altegra 6800. It's also applies to the 6700. They're pretty similar. The only difference is this pulley right here is ceramic and this one has both sealed bearing. So yeah. And the only tools you need are some Allen keys, a pick, a razor blade, some pliers, and a screwdriver. All right, so now moving on to the B-knuckle, uh, just pull back this cage and unscrew that little pin. Now let the cage spring back like that. Now just grab your five mil and pop this bolt loose. There you go, comes the spring. Go ahead, just grab your bolt, you can pop this one out as well. Pop it out, like so. All right, so now for the pinnacle, I'm just gonna take out this B-limit screw. Makes it easier to put back together. So you just pop this thing off. Now we got the clip. You wanna make it so it goes in between these two little ridges here. Get your pick and pop it out. And pull this towards you, it should pop right out. There you go, comes the seal. We got the spring as well, pop out the bolt. And we got the little O-ring as well. There you go. Now time to talk about the pulleys. If they spin smooth like this, I would just leave them alone and not regrease them and just clean them up on the outside. But if they spin kind of rough or slow, you want to regrease them and let me show you how to do that. First of all, you want to pop off this little tab. You just pop this down here. or we'll just pop this off like that. And this thing comes out as well. Just kind of pop it out. Now grab your razor blade. You want to pop up the seal. So, pop it off. And as you can see, our grease is nice and green in there. It's nice and it's not dried out and it's not dirty. So we're just gonna leave these alone. Uh, if you pop off the seal, make sure to clean it off because you don't wanna introduce any new dirt in there. So yeah, just clean off your seal. But if there's no grease in here or if it's dirty, I would um, clean this out with some brake cleaner or a brush and then grease it back up. And the best type of grease to use for this is either like the Park Tool blue grease, bearing grease, or Shimano premium grease. Uh, you just want to use something that's water resistant, heat resistant, and you know, nice and thick. And then you yeah, just grab your seal, put it back on pretty easy, and just pop it on. And you want to just pop it in with your finger on all sides. Like that you'll kind of feel it nudge in. And then you'll have this little center part. Pop that on. Like so. You want to have it sticking out on both sides a little bit, pretty evenly. And then you grab these little seals. Obviously, you want to clean them off and then just pop them back on like that. There you go. All right, so now I get everything all nice and taken apart. Now it's time to clean. For this, you can use a cleaner or a degreaser. You can also use brake cleaner, acetone, or alcohol is the best. If you're using brake cleaner, you wanna stay away from painted stuff or plastic stuff, because it could degrade it or discolor it. Same with acetone. And yeah, uh, I also like to use like a brush like this, a nylon brush or a toothbrush, or even a pipe cleaner like that. And in my case, I'm using this ultrasonic cleaner. All I'm using is water and dish soap. All right, so we got everything all nice and cleaned down. Uh, now it's time to assemble. And some other things you're gonna need is grease. All right, so I'm going to be using the Shimano Premium Grease stuff. You can also use the Saran Butter. You just want to use something that's, you know, thick and, you know, good quality. So yeah, just grease up the inside of this pinnacle area, all sides, back back there too. You get the spring all nice and greased up, and you want the side that's kind of recessed in like that. And the, sh the shorter side, you want the shorter side facing up. So find the hole and stick it in. Pop it in. And you got the seal. All right, so you get that seal on there, uh, make sure it's the wider one. Then grab your bolt, you wanna grease that up as well. Uh, put the O-ring on, grease that up, slide the two together. So, grab your little spring retainer thing, pop it on like that. Make sure it goes all the way down. You wanna grab your pliers, you wanna twist it 
over that little ridge like that, pop it down, pop the bolt through, and then put the clip on. There you go. All right, so now for the binnacle, same thing, just kind of grease up this area a little bit inside, and then grab your cage. You want to grease up the inside of that. Grab your bolt, grease that up as well. There's also a thin little washer on there. And slide those two together, like so. We also have this little washer. You want to have the flat part. See, there's a like an edge part. There's a flat part. You want the flat part facing up like that. Now you want to grease up your spring um, and go ahead and pop it in. The one on the 6800, it doesn't matter which way it goes. They're both the same. But the 6700, you want to have the longer end. You want that to be going into the cage. So go ahead and pop it in. Find the hole. Make sure it goes down. And you've got your little seal. Pop that on as well. All right, so now time to put the cage on. As you can tell, we got two holes here. Left one is the tighter one, right one is the looser one. If you're looking at it like this, I'm gonna go with the tighter one. So you just join the two together. Make sure it pops in like that. And then screw it in. And you don't wanna screw it in too tight, just have it snug. Um, and their cage looks like this. You wanna pull up this parallelogram twist the cage counterclockwise all the way around till you see the hole pull it past a little bit now grab your little pin and screw it in all right so now time for the pulleys as you can tell we have two bolts one of them's longer one of them's shorter you want the longer one for the tension pulley right here and the shorter one for the guide pulley and also on the 6700 um, you have a ceramic pulley looks exactly like this. You want to just grease up the inside of this ceramic bushing You want to grease up on the inside of there and put a little bit on the seal You want to have it facing up just like that and yeah, just make sure it spins nice and smooth when you put it on All right, And for the guide pulley here, it actually says guide pulley on it So you want that to be facing the back here and yeah, just go ahead and screw it on and not too tight Just have it nice and snug All right, so now, yeah, same thing for the tension pulley. You just want to make sure the arrows are going in the clockwise direction. Yeah, just snug it down, make sure they spin nice and smooth. Now put on your bell adjuster, your clamp bolt. I also oiled up all these pivots here, greased up that spring. And yeah, now you got yourself a fully rebuilt derailleur. There you go. So yeah, I hope you found this video useful in some way, and I'll see you. Bye.